हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला प्रोग्राम आई एम डॉक्टर शुएब लकमान फ्रॉम द काउंसिल ऑफ साइंटिफिक एंड इंडस्ट्रियल रिसर्च सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ मेडिसिनल एंड एरोमेटिक प्लांट्स लखनऊ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन the biosynthesis of lipids part 1 this is from the paper lipid metabolism the objectives of the lecture includes to understand the synthesis of lipids the biological synthesis of lipids what are the significance as well as implications of the lipid biosynthesis in any organism whether it is plant animal or microbe also how do fatty acid triacylglycerol phospholipids and cholesterol synthesize in an organism looking at the broader aspect of biosynthesis of lipids an array of cellular roles including energy storage as a component of the membrane as an anchor for membrane proteins especially the prenyl groups and phosphatidylinositol which anchors the membrane proteins the cofactors especially the vitamin k or the menadione the role as a detergent especially of bile salts extracellular as well as intracellular messenger activity for example eicosanoids phosphatidylinositol derivatives hormones for example sex hormones pigments for example carotene as well as retinol and as a transporter for example dolicol are some of the important roles that lipids play here in this slide we can see how the biosynthesis of lipid takes place this is a general concept map which shows how fatty acid diacylglycerol triacylglycerol mevalonate isopentenyl pyrophosphate dimethyl pentenyl pyrophosphate or isoprenoid carotenoid and terpenoids have been synthesized from acetyl coa acetyl coa is a intermediary mo molecule of the most of the metabolic activity of macromolecules if we look at this concept map we will see that glucose gets converted to pyruvate through glycolytic reactions and from pyruvate to pyruvate decarboxylase acetyl coa is formed this acetyl coa serve as a precursor for the biosynthesis of lipid precursors 
through the action of fatty acid synthase, this acetyl CoA get converted to or gives rise to the formation of fatty acids, both saturated as well as unsaturated. The unsaturation takes place with the action of desaturase enzyme. And then further, this fatty acid give rise to the formation of diacylglycerol, which subsequently lead to the formation of triacylglycerol. Acetyl-CoA also give rise to the mevalonate pathway and as a result of which mevalonate formation takes place which subsequently changes to isobendanyl pyrophosphate and dimethylallyl pyrophosphate which subsequently leads to the formation of isoprenoid, carotenoid and terpenoid precursors. Essentially, all the organisms has the ability to synthesize a variety of lipids. The reaction sequences in the biosynthetic pathways of lipids are endergonic and reductive. These reactions utilizes NADPH which act as a reduced electron carrier and act as a reductant and ATP serve as the source of metabolic energy. In animals, an excess of carbohydrate is transformed to triacylglycerol. The process involves the synthesis of fatty acids from acetyl CoA, followed by the esterification of fatty acids in triacylglycerol production by a mechanism called lipogenesis. So the fatty acids are prepared by fatty acid synthase that polymerizes and subsequently reduce acetyl CoA units. The fatty acids acyl chains extends by a series of reactions which adds the acetyl group a bit to an alcohol desiccate it to an alkene group and after that condense it again to an alkene group. Lipogenesis The synthesis of fatty acid from the acetyl-CoA the intermediary part of the metabolism the acetyl-CoA Actually, the synthesis of fatty acid takes place from acetyl CoA followed by the esterification of fatty acid in triacylglycerol production. And this synthesis takes place in the presence of a class of enzyme, a group of enzyme, we can say, which is called as fatty acid synthase that not only polymerizes but also subsequently reduces acetyl-CoA units. 
there are two groups of fatty acid synthesis. The first group which is present in animals as well as in fungi where the fatty acid synthase reactions are carried out by a solitary multifunctional protein and the second group which is present in plastids of the plant as well as in bacteria the separate enzyme execute each step of the pathway The synthesis of fatty acids might be later converted to triacylglycerol or triglycerides through packaging in lipoprotein layer and finally secreted from the liver. The triacylglycerol synthesizes in endoplasmic reticulum where the acyl group in fatty acyl coase are shifted towards the hydroxyl group of glycerol 3 phosphate and diacyl glycerol. The synthesis of unsaturated fatty acids encrosses a T saturation reaction where a double bond is introduced into a fatty acyl chain. In humans, steroid CoA desaturase 1 isoform produces the oleic acid by the desaturation of steric acid. The linoleic acid which is also an essential fatty acids and doubly unsaturated as well as alpha linolenic acid which is also an essential fatty acid and triply unsaturated cannot be amalgamated in mammalian tissues. In animals and archaea the mevalonate pathway produces isopentanyl pyrophosphate and dimethylallyl pyrophosphate from the intermediate precursor acetyl CoA units. In bacteria and plants, the non mevalonate pathway uses glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and pyruvate as the substrates. In the steroid biosynthesis, the isoprene units make squalene followed by lanosterol which further be converted into cholesterol and ergosterol. In this module we are studying the biosynthesis of fatty acids which are the primary components of both triacylglycerols and phospholipids followed by the assemblage into triacylglycerols and the simpler membrane phospholipids.
in the latter half of the module we deliberate on the synthesis of cholesterol which are integral part of the components of membrane and the precursors of steroid like bile acids sex hormones and adrenocortical hormones the biosynthesis of fatty acids is the conception from acetyl coa and manolyl coa precursors via the deed of the enzyme complex called fatty acid synthase the biosynthesis of the fatty acids is an imperative part of the lipogenesis process which collectively with glycolysis function to make fats from blood sugar in the diagrammatic representation we can see how the transformation of acetyl coa takes place by fatty acid synthesis system 1 and synthesis system 2 to form palmitate as well as saturated and unsaturated fatty acids let us talk about the synthesis of straight chain fatty acids the straight chain fatty acids is either saturated or unsaturated in the bacterium escherichia coli a gram negative bacteria the synthesis of saturated fatty acids by fatty acid synthase two systems occurs by means of the six recurring reactions and these recurring reactions continued till 16 carbon palmitic acid is produced the fatty acid synthase two complex system present in the bacteria restrain the multiple enzyme that act as a one unit and exist also in other prokaryotic organisms fungi parasite as well as plant system whereas in animals and yeast the synthesis of saturated fatty acids occurs via a similar reactions using fatty acid synthase complex 1 enzyme system it is important to note that fatty acid synthase one complex system is less efficient than fatty acid two complex systems the fatty acid biosynthesis regulation occurs by acetyl coa carboxylase the transformation of acetyl coa to malonyl coa by acc 
and ordained to nosh into the fatty acid synthesis pathway. The enzyme ACC or the acetyl CoA carboxylase is the point of regulation in the saturated straight chain fatty acid synthesis. Focusing both the allosteric regulation and phosphorylation. The allosteric regulation takes place in most organisms while regulation by phosphorylation occurs typically in mammals. The allosteric control occurs via the activation by citrate and feedback inhibition by Palmitoyl CoA. During the high level of palm palmitoyl CoA concentration, the final product of saturated fatty acid synthesis. allosterically inactivates acetyl-CoA carboxylase to avert a buildup of fatty acids in cells. Activation of acetyl-CoA carboxylase by citrate occurs under high levels as it indicates sufficient acetyl CoA to equip into the Krebs cycle and generate energy. The de novo fatty acid synthesis in humans. In humans, fatty acids are produced predominantly in liver, lactating mammary glands and to a slighter extent the adipose tissue. The Majority of acetyl CoA is produced from pyruvate by pyruvate dehydrogenase in the mitochondria, followed by condensation with. Oxaloacetate via citrate synthase to produce citrate. This citrate 
is subsequently elated into the cytosol and busted to yield acetyl-CoA and oxaloacetate by ATP citrate lyase. Oxaloacetate in reduced inside the cytosol to malate via malate dehydrogenase and is again transported back into the mitochondria to play a part in the citric acid cycle. The fatty acid desaturation requires the cytochrome B5, molecular oxygen as well as NADPH as a cofactor. The desaturation reactions engage the placement of double bond between carbon 9 and carbon 10. The example include palmitic acid conversion to palmitolic acid and steric acid conversion to folic acid. And these conversions are facilitated by the action of an enzyme desaturase. Whereas in position number of carbon 4, 5 and 6, it is also can be desaturated in human via 4, 5, 6 desaturases respectively. The unsaturated fatty acids are indispensable components to both prokaryotic as well as eukaryotic cell membrane and primarily maintains the membrane fluidity. Two pathways for desaturation reactions have already been revealed. The first one is the aerobic and the second one is anaerobic pathway. Aerobic desaturation. Aerobic desaturation is the most prevalent pathway for the synthesis of unsaturated fatty acids operated in some prokaryotes and almost all the eukaryotes. The pathway exploits desaturases to make unsaturated fatty acids from full length 
saturated fatty acid substrates. All desaturases entail oxygen and eventually deliver NADPH despite the fact that desaturation is an oxidative process. They are explicit for the double bond they attempt in the substrate. In Bacillus subtilis, 5 desaturase specifically induces a cis double bond at the delta 5 position. Saccharomyces cerevisiae includes one desaturase designated as OLE1P that engender the cis double bond at delta 9 position. In Bacillus subtilis, the aerobic desaturation pathway is regulated by a two unit system that is Des K and Des R. Des K is a membrane associated kinase, and Des R is a transcriptional controller of the Des gene. The regulation retards to temperature change and the gene is upregulated as it goes down. At low temperature, unsaturated fatty acids stabilizes the membrane by increasing the fluidity during a decrease in temperature, DESK autophosphorylates into DESKP and relocate its phosphoryl group to DESR. Two DESRP proteins dimerizes and trust to the DNA promoters of the DES gene and conscript RNA polymerase to initiate the transcription process. While on the other hand, in an anaerobic desaturation, this pathway is used by many bacteria for synthesizing unsaturated fatty acids. It does not require oxygen but reliant on enzymes to insert the double bond prior to elongation. 
utilizing the typical fatty acid synthesis machinery. The anaerobic desaturation pathway has been well studied in Escherichia coli. The salient features of anaerobic desaturation includes Fabe, a beta hydroxy decanoyl ACP dehydrase, explicit for 10 carbon saturated fatty acid synthesis intermediate. This Fabe initiate beta hydroxy decanoyl ACP dehydration, triggering the release of water and incorporation of the double bond between carbon 7 and carbon 8, enumerating from the methyl end thereby creating the trans 2 disanoyl intermediate. The trans 2 disanoyl intermediate pushed to the usual saturated fatty acid synthesis pathway either by FABE that catalyzes the isomerization into the cis-3 decanoyl intermediate or by FABB where the double bond hydrolyzes. FABB, a beta ketoacyl ACP synthase, elongates and conduits intermediates into the normal fatty acid synthesis pathway. When Fab B respond with the cis-3 decanoyl intermediate after elongation, the product is an unsaturated fatty acid. The two major unsaturated fatty acids prepared are Palmitoleoil ACP and cis oil ACP. A number of bacteria that go through anaerobic desaturation enclose homologs of FabB, FabA. The Clostridium species are exception as they have a novel enzyme that catalyzes the formation of cis double bond. The anaerobic desaturation pathway undergoes transcriptional regulation by Fab R and Fad R. The Fab R act as a repressor for the transcription of Fab A and Fab B whereas the FADR is the comprehensively studied protein with attributed bifunctional characteristics. FADR act as an activator of FABA and FABB transcription and also as a repressor for the beta oxidation regulon. In general, both aerobic and anaerobic unsaturated fatty acid synthesis does not take place within the same system. So, students, today we learned about the biosynthesis of lipids, part 1. In this lecture, both aerobic and anaerobic unsaturated fatty acid synthesis does not take place within the same system. So we have discussed the prokaryotic as well as eukaryotic system. And if we take an example, Pseudomonas aeruginosa and Vibrio AB1 are exception to these type of systems. 
so we will continue with the biosynthesis of lipids remaining parts in the forthcoming lectures thank you